welcome back to my channel and for today's video I will be talking about networking concepts and terms that you should know when starting in IT. So a few years ago I made a video about things you should know when starting in IT and it became successful because it has a lot of views now and a lot of interactions and I'm so happy that a lot of people are learning from this video. So I decided to make another one that focuses on networking. So if you are starting in IT, I'm giving you an idea on the networking concepts and terms that you should know and study before you land your first job or if you are planning to get into IT. Also for this video, I'm just going to give a general overview of all of the networking terms and concepts. I won't be giving too much detail and explanation on each concept. Maybe that's for another video, but for today, it's just an overview of the concepts and terms that you need to know about networking. So if you are interested, please keep on watching and without further ado, let's get started with today's video. So networking is very important in terms of IT and business enterprise as well. You don't have to be a network engineer to know the basics of networking because we have to deal with it every single day in our lives as IT. Everything is now network and connected. All businesses now use computer, the internet, and networking so you have to know it because on a daily basis we encounter and deal with a lot of network troubleshooting and issues. Okay, first thing that I will be talking about is IP address and different types of IP address. So every devices that you have in your business is going to be connected to the network and the internet. So which means that all those devices that are connecting to the internet should have an IP address. And you should know the basics about IP address. There are different types of IP address. There's a public IP address and private IP address. There's static and dynamic IP address. So you should know the difference between those two. There's also class A, class B, class C IP address. There's also special IP address just like a PIPA IP address, a subnet mask, default gateway. So you should know about all of those stuff. Also very basic is that you should know how to find an IP address of a computer that helps you in troubleshooting for network issues and also it will be helpful if you know how to assign a static IP address to a computer as well. Next, very important and very basic and fundamental that you need to learn as well are networking commands. So these commands will be very helpful if you're troubleshooting some networking issues. So you should know the basics like ping, IP config, hostname, NSLOOKUP, TRACER. It's also very important to learn and know about the different networking acronyms. There's a lot of acronyms that you will be encountered on a daily basis when working in IT such as the very basic DNS and DHCP. And there's also so many networking acronyms there but just focus on the basic ones. Some acronyms that you should be familiar with are VPN, VoIP, SSID, BYOD, SSH. Okay, so now that I've mentioned SSH, you should also know how to SSH to devices because we do that a lot in IT as well. Okay, so SSH, to simply explain it, gives the user a secured access to devices over an unsecured connection. Okay, so there are different tools that we use to SSH to devices and the most popular one is PuTTY. So you can download this for free on your laptop. So what we do is we make sure that it is on the session category in here and we just type in the host name and or the IP address of the device we want to SSH to and make sure that this is on port 22 which means it's on SSH. So sometimes if you wanted to change the font size because it's really small when you are typing stuff, if you want to make it bigger, you could go to the appearance here under window and just change the font size into a bigger one. So this is also very helpful if you're doing presentation over Zoom just to make uh, it bigger and clearer to understand. You should also know the different devices that can be connected to the network because you will be dealing with these devices most of the time. So some examples are access points, IP phones, printers, network printers to be specific, some security cameras and more. So these are examples of IP phones and I have a more detailed video about IP phones if you want to check it out. Okay, so the next thing that you should know is network cables and connectors. 
So of course you will be dealing with different network devices and you should know how to connect them to the switch for example and you need cables and connectors to connect them so there are four types of network cables coax stp utp and uh, fiber coax is from an earlier time i don't even know if i have worked with coax now the most common network cables are utp and stp stp stands for shielded twisted pair and utp stands for unshielded uh, twisted pair so these are the common ethernet cables that you see nowadays so we got this one as an example these are examples of ethernet cables so stp and utp cables has colorful pair of wires inside it just like this there's like orange blue brown and green so the main difference between an scp and utp is from the name itself so scp is called shielded twisted pair because uh the wires are colorful wires inside are bundled with a single foil shield and the utp is unshielded which means that it doesn't have a foil shield wrapped in these colorful wires. So the network cables are categorized based on their speed and their usage and the result of their use. So CAT5 and CAT6 are the common categories that we are using right now in the workplace. So I have an ethernet cable here. I just wanted to show you how you could identify what category the cable is. So it's usually just written on the cable itself. Let me just find it. Okay, so here it says here CAT5E, so it's under the CAT5 category. So that's how you can find what kind of category that network cable is. Okay, so the last type of network cable is fiber cables. These are newer and so much more faster than SCP and UDP, but they are more expensive because they're made of glass or plastic core, and they're often used for high-speed internet connection and for long distance. UTP is cheaper because it's not shielded, and they're more commonly used if you don't mind interference in your connectivity. Okay, so now let's move on to the different network connectors that we often use in the workplace. So let's get started with the common ones which are the RJ45s. So RJ45s are used for Ethernet cables and these are probably the common ones that you're familiar with. We use this every day. We also use RJ11 for phones and these are smaller. And if you're using fiber in your workplace, the network connectors for fiber cables are called ST, SC, and LC. Okay, so we have been talking a lot about uh, cabled networks. Now let's move on to another thing that you need to know in networking when you're starting in IT. And this is probably what you have to deal with in terms of network connections a lot, especially with users, because we have a lot of mobile devices now. So you really have to be familiar and you really have to know the basics with Wi-Fi. You don't have to be a Wi-Fi expert or Wi-Fi certified, but you have to know the basics like what the bandwidth is, checking the Wi-Fi speed, and also, of course, troubleshooting Wi-Fi issues because you are gonna be dealing with this a lot. So the most common Wi-Fi issues that you have to know how to solve are unable to connect to Wi-Fi, slow internet connection, and Wi-Fi is connected, but there's no internet access. So for this, if you're learning about Wi-Fi, if you have your own laptop and smartphone, you can play around with this, like how to solve it, how to configure the settings and such. Next thing you need to know about networking is access points. To know what an access point is because it's used by a lot of business and enterprises nowadays and you will most likely troubleshoot one if you start working in IT. So if you want to know more details about access points, I also made a video about it if you want to check that out. Okay, so last on this video is network security. As an IT professional, we should be able to secure everything from our network devices and user profiles. So network security is just as important in learning all the networking concepts. You should be able to know the basics about firewalls, what they are and what they are used for. This doesn't necessarily mean that you should learn 
access list or Palo Alto firewall, firewalls but just the basics for now and you can learn about those later on. Also other network security concepts that you can learn is VPN. You should know what it does to secure our <coughs> network connection. Also another important security concept to learn is NAT network address translator and also a WPA for wireless or Wi-Fi okay so that would be it for today's video if I missed anything please leave a comment down below and we can probably add that in the comment section or description for this video I hope that you learned something from this video and I hope to see you guys in my next videos thank you so much for watching